Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday, February 28th, 2019, and we're taking a look at the latest steaming fresh pile of fair porn and nonsense from Claudia Albers and her video, The Truth About Planet X. Now, I haven't watched the whole of this video, but just the start of it was enough, so we'll take a quick listen to hear what Dr. Albers has to say. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled, The Truth About Planet X Brings Persecution. Why? Now I started my journey of discovery about what was going on in the solar system and on Earth simply because I observed that the clouds looked pink as I took my daily walks at sunset. And I also knew it was impossible to have pink clouds in the sky unless something was very wrong. At the time I was a lecturer at a university in South Africa. Color theory as devised by Newton centuries ago has always made sense to me and I knew that there was no way that at sunset there could be both blue and red light in the sky to produce pink unless there was something very strange going on. Now you would think that if Claudia Albers was in fact a professional physicist she would actually understand what causes a red or pink sky in the evening or the morning. Now Claudia Albers likes to talk about scripture and the Bible, yet she seems to be totally ignorant of the words of Jesus spoken about 2,000 years ago, quoted in Matthew 16. It says in Matthew 16 from verse 1, The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. He replied, When evening comes, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, today it will be stormy for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. So this was written about 2,000 years ago, quoting Jesus. Yet to so-called professional physicist Dr. Claudia Albers, this seems to be something new to her. Apparently this physicist doesn't understand a little thing called Rayleigh scattering, which is explained on many websites. There are no shortage of websites which explain what we're seeing with the red sky in the evening or in the morning and what's going on with the scattering of light. Let's scroll down and we can see many references also to the quote in the Bible. And then there's a whole list of related questions that you can check out. On this website, for example, it gives quite a good explanation. Is the old adage, red sky at night, sailor's delight, red sky in the morning, sailor's warning, true? Or is it just an old wives' tale? And it goes into some detail. Now, of course, many of us have heard that old rhyme. I remember hearing that when I was a child, except I remember it as red sky at night, shepherd's delight, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. As we scroll down, we see more of an explanation there as well says the colours that we see in the sky are due to the rays of sunlight being split into colours of the spectrum as they pass through the atmosphere and ricochet off the water vapour and particles in the atmosphere. The amounts of water vapour and dust particles in the atmosphere are good indicators of weather conditions. They also determine which colours we will see in the sky. During sunrise and sunset the sun is low in the sky and it transmits light through the thickest part of the atmosphere. A red sky suggests an atmosphere loaded with dust and moisture particles. We see the red because the red wavelengths, the longest in the colour spectrum, are breaking through the atmosphere. The shorter wavelengths, such as blue, are scattered and broken up. So there is no shortage of information which explains what we are seeing with the red sky. And of course, let's not forget that quote recorded about 2,000 years ago. Something which seems to be completely new to Claudia Albers, who calls herself a professional physicist. It's no wonder that she lost her job at that university in South Africa. Thank you for watching.